Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julian. I'm here to do my reaction video for season two, episode one, the season two premiere for Dawson's Creek. This time the title of the episode is The Kiss. Hopefully it's the Pacey and Joey kiss again, because like, that's what I want for season two, <laughs> basically. So yeah, we're here. We're ready for season two. Season two, Unlike the first season that only had 13 episodes, this season has 22 and every single other season has either, well, the, the season three has 23, season four has 23, season five has 23, and season six has 24. So we're a long way <laughs> to get, uh, you know, done with this show, but hey. Let's not focus on that. Let's focus on the present. Let's focus on this episode. And I am going to guess that this is, episode is going to be amazing because Dawson's Creek is amazing. I love the show. I hope you guys love my reactions to the show as well. And I hope you guys continue supporting for more, you know? So yeah, uh, previous season was really amazing. A little bit slow at the, at the beginning, but not as slow as, as I thought it was going to be. The thing is that I'm... I watch a lot of shows that are currently airing and the pace is a lot faster for the new shows, you know, uh, but I love the long conversations that they have. I love, you know, that they really set things up for the characters and they are long arcs, you know, for the show. And honestly, I enjoyed season one a lot, you know, so I'm ready for season two. I'm ready to do this with all of you. So I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys continue supporting for more. Um, yeah, I mean, I just finished watching All American, uh, the season two premiere as well. Kind of going to do them parallel to one another. So if you get one episode of All American, you will get an episode of Dawson's Creek um, within the same week, you know, but of course, season two of this show has more episodes than All American. So at one point, there will be binges and things like that, you know, so yeah, it's going to be great, especially if you're on Patreon. On YouTube, <laughs> it's a whole nother story because I also have to edit now because one of my editors is on, she's on a trip, so I don't have one of the editors and like I have to edit now, which is like wonderful because I also have to like do like 300 other, sh other things. So it's going to be an amazing month see me collapsing by the end of this week <laughs> anyway so i'm excited i hope you guys are excited as well please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe comment hit the notification bell on cut reaction always posted first on patreon and yeah i think that's about it i hope you guys enjoy and without further ado let's just begin with season two episode one the season two premiere for dawson's creek here we go <laughs> Oh, oh, yes, I know I said that I wanted the kiss between Pacey and, and Joy, but yes, I knew it was going to be the, the this kiss, because who needed it? No one, absolutely, I mean, not me at least. I know. You know what is the thing that I think he loves the most is that Joey loves all about him, you know, and since he's a bit narcissistic, then... You know. I'll say. So now Wait. What? Did you kiss again? I don't know. I don't know. Me either. <laughs> Great. Um. You were gonna say we shouldn't have done that. No. Thinking, right? Actually, Dawson, I don't have a thought in my head right now. But apparently, that's what you're thinking. So. No, no, no I... don't assume. Solve your dream. <laughs> what? Like it never happened? Is that what you want? Oh Is that my what you god. Want? I swear to god, Dawson can pretty much be a lesbian with all <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I don't know what the hell is happening. He's it's just that he's so insecure, not saying that lesbians are insecure, that by the way. It's just that this just feel like <sighs> Excuse me and my stupidity. Okay, poof. Didn't happen, Dawson. See you later. 
I don't think he. Joey. I don't think that's what he wanted. Joey. Don't even think of climbing through that window. So dramatic. They're so dramatic. I could just open my mouth and scream. I hate this truck. It's always something. Hey, these things happen, Bessie. Don't let it get you down. Okay. Your morning glow is highly suspicious. Highly. How many cups of coffee did you have? This really inspires me, man. If you and Joey can get past the whole can you not move? checkmate thing that you've been in for God knows how many years, <laughs> anything is possible. All right, calm down, Pacey. No, no, I'm serious here. I can change, too. I can be <laughs> Pacey Witter, badass stud man about town. I can score with high quality chicks. <laughs> you need to stop Pacey moving for that. Example. Senior cheerleader? Let's not abandon all sense of reality here. No, 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 no. No more negative thoughts. You know what? I love the hairdresser is like, just stop moving! <laughs> Molly, I need a new look. We said we. We frost my tips or something. Frost your tips? Yeah. In fact, I think I'm just gonna take you on a book you right now. No, you can't. I mean, um, please. Don't do that. <laughs> How is it she thinks that he's a cop? <laughs> he's a baby. Look at his face. I just got this license. Please don't revoke it. Thank you, Miss Allen. I appreciate all of your advice, but. Goodbye. She's not going, isn't she? Okay, you. I think I might have made the biggest mistake of my life. <laughs> Look at his face. Friends. I told Mr. Allard I just wasn't going to go. Oh. <laughs> I don't like oh. that. Oh, she so should have gone. On Cape Side for some guy. Me not going to France. You and me talking dirty in the halls. I mean. Do you think we're making some massive monumental mistake? I mean, because things have always been so complicated between us that I... I think we'll be fine. I granted you and I are entering some uncharted void gold territory, but I honestly think that regardless of how complicated things are on a day-to-day -day basis, we'll be fine. Okay, that's we'll sweet. That's sweet. Stuff. Hey, guys. Jen. Oh, Jen, hello. Hey. Hey. How are you? How are you doing? I'm not great. I'm... My, uh, my, my grandpa died last night. Oh my god, Jen, I'm so sorry. Hey, uh, Officer Pacey! Ah, oh, hello! Hey, little Missy, how you doing? You keeping out of trouble? You know, impersonating <laughs> an officer is a felony. All right, you hit me. I was just having a little fun. And besides, it's nothing compared to the hell my father's giving me, okay? I you know, imagine. Your country club sob is still in one piece, so, hmm. Mm hmm. Hi, Andy. Hey, Wait, Christy. I know her. Hey, Christy. Your tips are an attempt to win a certain someone. <laughs> Hot tip. Christy Livingstone is a homo sapien. A homo sapien, but not a homosexual. Okay. I oh, got it, got it. <laughs> so perhaps you should try barking up a different tree. What's going on here? Well, I've decided to donate some of your grandfather's old clothes to the church charity drive. Oh. You're just giving us stuff away? No, it's for a good cause. There are people in this community who rely on these donations. Is there his, her way of processing? Don't you think it's a little early to be clearing out his closet? <laughs> He's not going to be needing these things. Those less fortunate do. This is her way of processing this. Grinch you have another said one. Yesterday. We haven't even buried him yet. What would you have me do, Jennifer? Do you know what I prayed for? Not for his recovery. For his release. I watched him waste away in that bed for almost two years. So, whether I clean out his closet today or not, he's gone. He's been gone. She, said, she has had time to process this. It's different, you know, we'll take grief in a different way, you know. I know. In fact, we don't even know each other at all, but I was wondering if I could change that and maybe get to know you a little better. Maybe take you out to dinner and a movie sometime, see if we have anything that resembles a future together. <laughs> uh, so I was thinking uh, tomorrow night. What do you say? 
Sounds great. Wait, what? <laughs> you got a hot day. Okay. Okay. That turned out well. I thought that girl was going to like say something mean about him. Mr. Leary? Yes. Mr. Drake will see you now. What is it? You going to therapy or something? Drake Witherspoon at home. No, we specialize in divorce. Oh. He's going to a divorce attorney. Okay. Oh, Jen. What are you wearing? <laughs> Very 90s. Hey. hey. Your mom wanted me to bring you this. It's just. So, are you going with Joey? <laughs> yeah, who else? Me? <laughs> so how did things work out between you guys? Pretty More well. Two star-crossed lovers. <laughs> you know us, you know. Just Dawson and Joey. We'll always be Dawson and Joey. How about Dawson and Jen? Yeah, that's last season. Honestly, I think you could use a friend right now. Because she has to get in her tiptoes. Okay, I, I gotta go. But don't sit here and curse the world to leave me. Okay? It's beautiful out. All right. Yeah, but her grandpa just died, so maybe it doesn't look that beautiful for her. You know? I kissed more than once that night. No. Oh. Oh, it counts as one. <laughs> that first kiss, it's the passionate one. It's the one fueled by desire and attraction and all of that. Oh, oh. The second kiss is rational. You got time to think about it, worry, and overanalyze. I'm glad she has her sister to talk about these things, you know? If not, she will worry. I just want to ask something. When you guys were first watching this, were you guys like... Or, or most people were like super excited because of that, of this? Because of, of Joey and Dawson finally being together? Because as much as I find it kind of like cute, you know... I just don't feel it, you know? I don't feel like Joey and, and Dawson are right for each other at all. They're friends, you know, and like, I don't know. How, how did you felt the first time that you were experiencing this? I would really want to know. Yeah. Now you have to endure the agony of, well, I've already kissed her, so should we just check into a hotel room and go at it like porn stars anxiety? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I can handle that. Because, um, I know a good hotel. Really? Uh, we, um, we, we, we start with something very simple. Something They're dancing the around each, each other. Don't hold your hand. <laughs> I mean, the sexual tension is there, but it could also be because, like, you know, they have waited for so long, and also they're teenagers. I guess all my movie watching will have to be restricted by bedroom then. <laughs> Too bad for us. A fate worse than death. I'll just do it. <laughs> they're irritating me. Oh, did she stood you up? Christy. Makes me misty. By the end of the day, she'll have kissed me. Uh-huh. When she gets here. Oh. Hello. Hey. I thought I'd take your advice and get out of the house for a little while. I advise? What I've done has not uh -huh. too well. I don't know what she's talking about. Yeah, he definitely, he definitely didn't tell her to come in. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right now, I guess Is your grandmother here? 
Yeah, yeah, I just thought I'd come sit with you guys. Why? that afterwards we could go over to the ice house and grab some food. <laughs> Unless I'm not welcome. No, no, it's not you're not welcome at all. It's, it's just... No, I, you know, I shouldn't come. No, wait, wait, no, no, no. Aww. But they were on a date. Come on, Jen. But we could have been nice because also her grandpa just died, so... Be right back. Sure. This is a perfect first date. Jen, I'm really, really sorry if I made you feel like you couldn't stay with us, all right? It's just that Joey and I kind of The whole time that we were dating, were you really wishing that you were with Joey instead? No. What? No. No. Absolutely no. It seems a little sad. Really, that I was the girl whose sole purpose was to allow you to figure out who you were really in love with. So please don't Aww, think of it like that. Yeah, I, mean, I had fun. We just... No, we did, but I held you off, I pushed you away, and I basically ran you right out of my life in the midst of all that fun. Jen. So I guess it serves me right, I lost you. You haven't lost me. I'm here, I wanna be a part of your life. I wanna be your friend. Your friend. Yeah. I'm sorry. I... Sorry. Oh, Jen. Yeah. She's just in pain, you know. Because Jen. honestly, I just don't think that I could handle seeing the two of you together. I oh, just come think it's time to raise your blades or something. Don't even joke about that. Yeah, don't joke about that. This whole thing is a joke. I don't think it's fair for you, you to ask him me, to do my that. My whole life here is a joke. Jen, Jen come She's on, just don't... spiraling. She's just. Her emotions are just in overdrive right now, you know. Is Joey gone? Oh, how dramatic to leave the there. Damn, 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 damn. Hey, oh. Christy. Hey. Oh, you made it. Uh, great. Thanks for coming. Um. I was thinking we go get a little bit of dinner, and then uh, we're probably a little bit too late for the movie, but that's okay. A actually, I can't stay. Oh. My boyfriend's waiting for me in the car. Excuse me. Then why you say yes? It's week anniversary. I wasn't too stoked that I made other plans. I just I had to stop by and tell you how brave I think you are. Brave. brave? Uh. I know it's supposed to be a secret, but your friend Andy told me about your condition. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I just think it's really inspiring how you can still live a normal life through the constant cloud of death. What? Uh, what? She told me about your heart stripe. Your what? <laughs> My heart stripe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the stripe you have right across your heart. And... Good night, Pacey. I really think that you're quite a guy. <laughs> oh, uh -huh. sweetie. On, Christy, let's go. I feel so bad, you know, for Paisy. So what are you up to now? Gonna go find a little action now that you're a single woman? Oh my god, don't say that. Don't say those things. Now, I know you're upset about your grandfather. No, it's not just that. My parents couldn't stand me, so they shipped me off to you. So here I am, living in this strange town without a friend of my name, and... You know what the sad thing is? Is actually, I think that you may be the best friend I've got. That's I'm just sweet. not all that sure that you like me. <laughs> she likes you? say that. You see, I didn't come tonight to watch the movie. I came to be with him. I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. He was never as handsome as that night. Is he gonna unfrost his tips? <laughs> Are they they're sitting him up with her, right? I see. What are you doing here? 
Man in your condition should be in bed, hooked up to a life support system. Oh, that's very funny. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd call my husband a liar. Excuse me? So, tell me, Mitch, why do you lie? What, what could you possibly gain by lying to me? I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. You tell me everything is fine with us. You tell me nothing's a problem. That my worst fears are unfounded. Yet, something tells me that's not what you're telling. Drake, Witherspoon, and Hall. The this is toxic. That I went to see Mr. Drake is because I want to know what my options are. You should see a therapist. You can either give me another chance wholeheartedly or divorce. Or you can go back to Mr. Drake and write him a very large check and make this marriage another statistic. Either one of those options sound appealing, Mitch? But the thing is that if he's saying that he loves you and hates you in the same way, this can turn into a very toxic environment. So if you don't try to work it out in therapy, then divorce is the next best thing. It's beginning to sound like a ridiculous refrain. So what, you have to know that I don't have any of those feelings left for Jen. I swear Dawson, to you. Dawson, it's okay. It is? Yes. Do you want to know why I didn't go to France, Dawson? Because I wanted to so badly. She's regretting that? It's going to be so simple, Joe. You know, all this talk about a second kiss? Yeah. Can you put me in the mood for a third? Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Dustin has been really cute this episode. I'm not gonna deny it. It's gonna be simple. <laughs> Come here, darling. From a whisper star. Okay. Have a faith in me. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season... Okay, so that was the end of season two, episode one of Dawson's Creek. And the, the, here's the thing. <laughs> and you guys might know me if you have watched a few reactions of me. Uh, when I get... You know, when I set my eyes on a ship, it's very difficult for me to... It's not impossible, okay? But it's a little bit difficult for me to kind of, like, move away from it. You know, it takes a lot for, for me to do that. And I feel like the possibility of Pacey and Joey is just, like so strong and something that I will want to watch that it's not really allowing me to enjoy Dawson and Joey. Mostly because like throughout the entire first season, it's not like I have been shipping them, you know? Uh, they had this will they, one day thing the entire first season. And I was more inclined, I guess, with the... They shouldn't, <laughs> you know, because they're friends. And uh, for instance, on, on One Tree Hill, we have amazing friendships uh, between male characters and female characters that have nothing to do with, you know, uh, um, sexual tension or anything like that. You have Lucas and, and Haley, who are just the best of friends who know each other from since they were kids and kind of like Dawson and Joey, but there was never anything like, you know, remotely to get them together, you know? And they were friends and it was a great friendship and it lasted for as long as it lasted, you know, until everything that happened to the show and blah, blah, blah. Um, but I like that, you know? But this show, since... I think it's a little bit older than One Tree Hill. Of course, they have to be with a little bit more with the, you know, maybe we do need to explore 
the relationship rather than just exploring the friendship. This could very much end with both of them realizing that while there was there were some feelings between them, at the end of the day, they they care a lot more about their friendship than the possibility of a relationship because a relationship may be too tricky for them. But I don't know if that's going to happen uh, or if we are just witnessing the beginning of the possible endgame couple, you know? Because it feels like it could be like the endgame couple, you know? But I honestly wouldn't want that. I don't feel Joey and Dawson as, I don't know, as I... As I felt, even Lucas and, 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 and Peyton, you know, that even though I had my ups and downs with them and I wasn't like the biggest Lucas fan or whatever, you know, I was like, nah, you know, Lucas can do whatever he wants and be with whoever he wants to be. Same goes with Peyton. But at the end of the day, they are the end game, you know. I, it just felt they are the end game couple, you know, uh, for me, at least that's how I felt. Um, whether if that's true or not, I don't, I'm not going to say because like probably I'm going to spoil things for people and I don't want to, but at, at one time when they, they had the will they one day, you know, even so it felt like the, um, like the end game, end game couple, and they feel that way as well, doesn't and and Joey, um, but that doesn't mean that I want them together, but that also doesn't mean that I will not get you know that I won't get you know that fussy feeling and like that closeness or like or the fact that I can fall in love with them, you know. Give it a few more episodes, and if I don't see Pacey and Joey at all together or like any signs of like potentially something happening to them then I might be like okay I'm gonna suffer in silence this is what I wanted but like I have to get used to the fact that it's Dawson and Joey the one who are going to end up together so I can enjoy their dynamic a lot more do they have chemistry yes they have a lot of chemistry you know and the sexual tension, man, is there, you know, like, absolutely. Do they make sense? Yes, as well, because Joey has been in love with him for her entire life, and Dawson just realized that he also has been in love with her for this entire time, or at least he likes her. Now, Dawson is a very narcissistic person. He might also like the attention that he receives from Joey, and the fact that Joey... You know, that for Joey, Dawson is this, you know, Dawson is the Steven Spielberg that, uh, for, 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 Dawson is her, Steven Spielberg. Same way Steven Spielberg is that god for, for Dawson. You know what I mean? So, it might be that way. I wouldn't rule it out because, like I said, Dawson is very narcissistic So having someone who loves him, you know, with all his quirks and he doesn't have to, you know, be anyone other than his self-centered self, then he might like that attention, you know? So we'll see. Do I believe when he's honest that he doesn't have feelings for Jen? I do believe. I don't don't believe that he is that mean that he's going to be playing with two girls at the same time, especially... He's not going to play with his best friend. You know what I mean? So I believe that in him. And he was extremely adorable this episode, you know? And a good friend also. Even though he walked out on his date, he knew that Jen at that moment needed him, you know? So yeah. And Jen is going through her own thing, you know, which makes me extremely sad. Because the poor thing, you know, she just lost her grandpa for her, it's ju- this just happened. This is the moment that she's accepting that he's no longer here, you know. But for her grandma, it's a little bit different. She has been mourning him for a long time to the point where she has been praying for him to finally rest, you know, because he was bound to the bed and, like, she didn't like that. So, you know, she's been, she, she, she has been preparing for this moment, 
you know, a different point of view from someone who's a lot older than she is. For her, she is like, her grandpa just died, you know, and she see her, her grandma just kind of like moving on and like, kind of like more understanding with what is happening and for her is lashing out, you know, um, and it's completely understandable because I mean, we will all understand this, right? Um, but at the same time, she's conflicted because now, you know, there is Dawson who she could have had and she regrets that she broke up with him and she kind of like feels like she was the step on the way for Dawson to find out that he actually love, loved uh, Joey. So she feels like crap about that. The fact that she asked him to like not jump her bones, you know, Joey's, uh, right away or something like that. It's not really fair for her to ask him to do that because they are not together, you know what I mean? But I understand her, her inner conflict, you know, she has had a, like, a, a really, really close lost, you know, with her grandpa where she is like, just like, just figuring out her life and this is a big loss for her you know and also having the fact that her parents might not even want her close to them because they ship her out here you know in a place that she doesn't even have friends to begin with but maybe that should be her focus instead of having to you know be with this boy and be with that other boy you know maybe she should focus on growing and getting friends you know having and growing those type of friendships you know um so yeah but it, it was really it was really sad just seeing her on this episode was extremely sad felt bad for her you know uh and then you have of course uh joey uh joey pacey doing what pacey does best which is like just random things, you know, uh, and they introduce us to this new girl who I believe he has some, like, might be introduced as, like, maybe some sort of, like, relationship for, for Pacey, and I'm like, I don't want that, but I, I will also not want Pacey and Jen together, so kind of like, this is better, but I do want Joey and Paisley together. Like, I think it could be amazing, but I don't think that happening anytime soon. Um, but yeah, you know, he, he got his beautiful blonde hair. He looked, he looked extremely cute, I think, in my opinion, at least. Um, but yeah, you know, he pranked a girl, you know, telling her that he was a police officer and then the girl finds out and then the girl pranks him by telling the cheerleader you know the head cheerleader of the school that he has a crush on that he has some sort of heart condition or something like that and it was really funny but really sad because his life seems like a joke you know seems like no one actually pays attention to him or respects him enough to give him the time you know so that is that is just extremely sad <laughs> uh and I feel bad for Pacey you know I feel bad for Pacey uh, he was so excited and like with like with his shirt really like oh my god I'm about to have a, a, a date and like it wasn't like that <laughs> I feel terrible for him terrible uh, but yeah this was a great episode it was a great 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 uh, first episode for season two and I cannot wait for uh, the rest of the season and see where this entire uh, right is gonna give is gonna get us you know this first episode really felt a lot a lot more fast paced than you know the previous season I really liked it I still do not care about what the hell is happening with Mitch and 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 Gail they can't divorce for all I care I <laughs> I do not care about them <laughs> at all so whatever if they get divorced or stay together I I couldn't care less uh but yeah anyways. That's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy my reaction. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. There's a lot of reactions that uh, are out uh, on my Patreon that do not get posted on YouTube. So in case you guys want to check it out. For instance, I'm about to react to season 8 of Brooklyn Nine-Nine. The final season. And also season 6 of Lucifer coming up soon as well this month on Patreon. Season 4 of The Fosters. 
you know, we're ahead on, on Patreon, you know. And by the time probably you're watching this on YouTube, I'm like two, three, four episodes uh, in on season two for this show. So lots of things happening there on Patreon. Anyways, that's it for now. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys continue supporting for more. And for now, I think that's about it. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for Dawson's Creek. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.